Okay, hey everybody, we're going to take a quick look at, at solving, what it means to solve uh, some trig equations here. So I'm just going to do a couple uh, just really straightforward ones with you guys. First of all, when you take a look at, at a question like this, sine of theta is equal to negative uh, 0.4321, what we got to look at first is the sine on the ratio. So here's, here's the trig function. It is equal to a negative value. So now we got to think, okay, according to our cast rule, okay, what quadrants is the sine ratio negative in? And since all of them are positive here and sine's positive here, that has to be quadrants three and four. So down here, I'm going to identify that I'm looking for a third quadrant angle and a fourth quadrant angle. And then I'm going to find my reference angle. Now I find my reference angle by doing a simple inverse trig function, but I don't use the negative. Okay, I just use the negative to figure out what quadrant's that in. Don't put the negative in here. Um, the calculator is programmed to, to, to deal with negatives differently with sine, cos, and tan. So just for consistency's sake, just, just make that a positive there. And when you do that, now I'm going to round this to the nearest hole, but this is going to end up being 26 degrees. Okay, so now to go into our third quadrant, okay, what we do here, we take our reference angle, we're going to go 180 degrees plus our reference angle, okay, because we're, we remember how that works. To get into the third quadrant, I go 180 degrees, and then I got to do this little bit here. My reference angle is here, not, not here. It's, it's between the x-axis and the line. And so, put that together, what's that going to be? Well, it's going to be 206 degrees. In the fourth quadrant, okay, my reference angle is right here, 26 degrees, so I come all the way around to that point right there. So that is going to end up being 360 degrees minus 26 okay, degrees, and that is going to end up being 334 degrees. Okay, so that's, this is the pattern that you use to solve these, these sorts of trig questions, and it's going to be the same pattern all the time. Okay, so let's take a look at an, another example here. Notice in this case that cosine, the ratio here is positive. So again, I look at my cast rule. All of them are positive in the first quadrant, and cosine is positive in the fourth. So that means I'm going to have a first quadrant angle and a fourth quadrant angle. And now I'm going to do my inverse cosine of 0 0.6237. Okay, when I go to my calculator, make sure I'm in degree mode. Okay, I'm going to get that is 51 degrees when rounded to the, the, the nearest hole. And now in the first quadrant, the first quadrant is a gift, okay? Because the reference angle and the rotation angle will be the same, okay? Because in the first quadrant, the rotation angle will be acute. So that means I know that the first answer here is going to be 51. Uh, but just like before, to get it in the fourth quadrant, what I got to do is 360 minus 51 degrees, uh, okay? And that is going to end up being 309 degrees, okay? But notice it's the same, it's the same sort of thinking. So the first thing I got to do is determine what quadrants I'm going to be in. I use my calculator and an inverse trig function to get the reference angle. And I make sure that I'm not putting the, a negative in there. Okay, I drop the negative up here. And my last step is going to be just to take that reference angle and to put it into the two quadrants that I'm, that I'm interested in. 